Good oh, lord. Hello, and it begins. My name is Josh Eagle Player, and I am your coach of the Philly Soul Dude. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to APA season number six. Week number, it's, is it six? Is it five? I don't remember. Six. I'm going to say six. It's going to be five. Watch this. Uh, <laughs> welcome to week number five. I know it's week number five uh, of the APA. We're digging on OG Albina, a.k.a. Oglebinal, a.k.a. Old Vagina. And his, is he using Miami Mints? I hope he's using Miami Mints because that's where we're going with. Let's see. Am I right? Am I dumb? I'm still dumb. But it's Miami Mints. Great. Um, be sure to go check him out in the description below. He's doing really, really well. I can't tell you how he did week four because we haven't played week four. His got delayed, and then Patty's been joining me. So I'm actually recording this before I play my week four. So I don't know what my record is, but currently it's one and two. And I said this last season when I went one and two in the first three weeks. I'm better than one and two. I'm better than whatever the hell I put on in week three versus Kyle that I got bailed out for. I'm way better than that. Hell no, I'm better than... <laughs> hell no. Hell yeah, I'm better than letting Mel Metal get three kills versus me and turn one, two, and three. No. No, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're done with that shit. It's time to go back to where we were. It's time to get back to day before. Let's make finals. Let's win this, alright? There you go. Hopefully I'm two and two right now. Really hope so. Uh, I think my matchup versus Patty's Flames, so I really hope that I'm two and two. Uh, we're facing up against OG Albina. His team consists of a Keldeo, a Necrozma, Dermanitan, Sylveon, Delmize, Rhyperior, Bolton, Galissapod, Clink Clang, Skuntank, and G Max Duraludon. All we face this season of APA is G-Max Orbeetle, G-Max Charizard, and a whole bunch of G-Max Steel types. So I kind of want to die. Mm. But let's get into it. I really like the team that I put together. I think this is definitely a team that can bring me victory. And I definitely think I was able to save some of my um, uh, other potential ways of winning and beating him for uh, much later in the future. So, and by that I mean playoffs. If I make playoffs, I really got to do well to make playoffs. Like, I can still go 8-2. and two. Let's do this. All right. So, this team was very, very interesting to build, and I had all kinds of ideas that I really wanted to do when I'm building this team. Again, I went back to my roots. I really had to, um, you know, refresh my way of team building instead of just putting on six months that do work and then going in and then losing to some threat that I didn't prep for. I'm very well um, prepped for this team. I'm very well, uh, I'm very confident in this team. I did have one mock. I lost the mock, but that was because of a stupid mistake. Uh, which we'll get into. Uh, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, I would have won. Easily. Handedly. Um, with the set that we're going to go over first. Um, but looking at his team, right, there's a couple very interesting things. The first thing is that his entire team is grounded outside of air balloons. So that's something I took note of. Um, I also noticed that he has two ground resists in Galissapod and Delmize. Very nice to know. I noticed that he has absolutely no motherfucking switch into uh, to Mel Metal whatsoever. Um, and I took a look at some of his previous team builders. He has faced Como O plus Blastoise before, I believe, in week one. And that really gave me some interesting insight on how he's been prepping and building. Um, I also took a look at stuff like how often he's been bringing bring Mons. Keldeo, Sylveon, and Necrozma have been brought all, to all three games so far out of the three he's played. Um, so I definitely expect that. I definitely expect Duraludon. It does a lot of work versus my team, even though it doesn't have a move to hit the Mel Metal outside of, like, Body Press. It still can do a lot of damage with, um... Uh, G-Max Lightning, so I had to be careful of that. I noticed that speed tiers were kind of interesting. Boltund is as fast as Mon, and then it goes to Keldeo, and then it goes to something like Darmanitan. Darmanitan's likely giving me choice scarf this match, I feel, even if it's not. Um, speed tier is kind of interesting versus my team. Uh, I noticed that I don't really need a lot of speed. A lot of his mons that I'm really scared of are either slow or going to outpace uh, my mons anyway because of how weird my speed tiers are. Uh, so yeah. Let's talk about this. There's one set that I won that I knew absolutely beyond anything was going to come this match. It was going to be in some way, shape, or form my win con because I believe it absolutely destroys him. And let's get into it. So first one I knew I was going to bring is Komoo. Komoo is very, very nice in this matchup and can run a majority of uh, majority uh, a wide selection of sets versus what the hell? Weird sports. Um, versus team. I'm also going to be soundproof. I really did want to run um, for that move. I wanted to run bulletproof so I could take on the Keldeo better unless he was secret sword. Um, if he's secret sword, he has to be running air slash. If he's not secret sword, if he's not secret sword, he has to run air slash 100, 1000 percent. Otherwise, he gets walled by coma OF on bulletproof. Focus blast and aura sphere are both blocked by bulletproof, which is very interesting to know. 
So you either have to run Secret Sword or Air Slash. Honestly, expect both. Um, I expect either... I expect four attacks Keldia. I don't really think Calm Mind's going to be doing it versus me. Because I can run, easily run something like Specs Heliolisk, which will break through it. Even if it's not at plus one. Um, G-Max had a rain roll, of course. Be a very a big annoyance to it. Uh, set up Como. Uh, always take one. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of reasons. I don't really think he brings Calm Mind. He can. It's not the best set versus me, I think. But it's there. Hmm. But anyway, obviously looking at this Mon, he has two very big important things to stop this Mon 100%. That is the Sylveon and the Necrozma. Both very big threats. 100% expect Sylveon to be his main issue uh, answer to this. Uh, Moonblast, Mystical Fire, Wish Protect. He has brought Fairy Stab, Mystical Fire, Wish Protect on a Sylveon all three weeks as a means of checking wide variety of Mons. I expect Moonblast. If he brings Hyper Voice, awesome. I'm soundproof. I stop him. And I'll be honest, <laughs> I threw around this set for a very, very long time. An obscenely long time. I had every set you could imagine. I heard some Body Press, Dragon Dance, uh, Clan Grit Soul, <laughs> um, Specs, uh, Dragon Dance, Swords Dance, everything that could come to mind, I tried. One set, however, a uh, very weird set came to mind and I was like man can this work if I get the right support can I do this and I went with it and I, and I started to build a team around it so let's go to talk about that so uh my Komo'o for this game my win con is going to be sub dragon dance Woo. protect and drain punch <laughs> obviously this looks like the dumbest stuff that anyone's ever made in their life and it's probably gonna get me 6 0 uh, very interesting uh, hypothesis there. Actually, this, with the right support, a very important support, completely 6 0s him. He has no way to stop it. He has no way to beat it. And he just gets completely floored by it if it goes off correctly. Which I am very confident in it going off correctly. It even almost went off correctly in my mock. Um, but we're, we're getting to that. Um, obviously, I'm going to be leftovers. So why this set, right? If I can pressure the Sylveon enough to where it takes damage, or I can um, just straight up get rid of it, uh, this beats outside of Delmise, but again, I'll talk about what my support is for that. This beats every single Pokemon on his team. He has to bring Psychic on the Necrozma to beat this. Otherwise, I beat that 1v1 too with Leftovers, Sub, Dan, Sub, and Protect. I can stall out Photon Geyser very easily. So, yeah, I didn't know what my EVs were going to be, so I left it. Uh, obviously the next one I put on there, I keep talking about the certain support. It's going to be a Cell War. Um, I don't know why that keeps changing back. Uh, my Cell War finally coming off the bench. Shout out to Brian. Uh, finally coming off the bench. <coughs> the one support I need is Toxic Spikes. There's two mods on his team that can get rid of Toxic Spikes. He has no Magic Bounce users. He does have some Magic Coders, but I highly doubt he's going to be using them. Um. Okay. Um, I, doubt, I highly doubt he's going to be using them. Uh, Skuntank, I don't think comes versus me. It's a free switch into Rhydon. It's a free switch into Melmetal. Um, even if he wants to bring Fire Blast, he has to bring very specially offensive. Uh, maybe Life Orb for that. He also has to bring, bring Play Rough for the Komo'o. Otherwise, I will that as, uh, I switch into that as well. Honestly, I just don't see Skuntank being that useful in this game. It also uh, doesn't outspeed Komo'o. So it's not like he can taunt it or anything. Um, I expect if he brings Hazard Removal, it's going to be the Delmize. And honestly... It's very unlikely, in my opinion, that he is going to be able to beat the Assault War set that I am bringing uh, with that Delmai. So, almost guaranteed, I'll either be able to knock it out or I'll be able to get it poisoned, which means I beat it. What's it come out If I can get Sylveon, Delmai, Necrozma, etc. poisoned, very, very nice. I have the potential to beat them. I can wear them down. Something like Sylveon, while it can sit there and click Moonblast and break my subs, I will be sub-protecting, and of course that'll get it whittled down poison damage to the point where eventually you'll have to wish and I can click Dragon Dance. And that can potentially repeat a couple times where I'm at maybe two or three boosts and I can Drain Punch health back, etc, etc. It's a little bit harder to beat Sylveon, and I thought about that. Like, regular poison isn't going to be enough. That's why I want to make sure that I get a two, two uh, Toxic Spikes. If I get a two and get all of them Toxic... They literally cannot beat me. He cannot stop me. He can't bring Hyper Voice, uh, or he can't bring Heal Bell. He's either missing out on Protect, which is very bad, or he's missing out on Mystical Fire, so then just Mel Metal comes in and LOLs all over his team. Spoiler alert, we're bringing Mel Metal. So I wanted to make sure I built a set that can not guarantee, because nothing is really guaranteed in Draft League, but have the very extremely highest chance 
two get up, two toxic spikes. If I see Delmize, obviously I'm going to be a little bit more lenient on uh, leading this and then going for it. If I see no has removal, I'm clicking this mod, I'm clicking toxic spike, and then I'm clicking toxic spike. And I'm going to get up both, and I'm going to win with Como. Almost guaranteed. If I don't see Delmize or Skun Tank, I very highly anticipate the fact that I just lead off with this mod, then go into Como and win. So, how do I guarantee that I get off two? Well, I run Protect, and then I run Encore. So these two moves mean that I can protect versus Galithopod's first impression, and if he's not double priority, that means I get up two versus that. I protect, I don't take any damage, I click Toxic Spike, he hits me, knocks me down to my Sash, he can't priority if he's not uh, double priority, so he's not Aqua Jet. Uh, then I get up a second Toxic Spike, and the two are up. Uh, protect Encore is also there, helping me beat the Delmise. Um, last move obviously going to be Bug Buzz, uh, just for general stab and stuff. Uh... If he goes into that as I click Toxic Spike and does not get poisoned, obviously I can't let that happen. So what I'll do is I'll protect. If he goes for Rapid Spin, I'll Encore him into that and I can start Bug Buzzing him down. Or I can put up another Toxic Spike to guarantee. Um, if, he, if I think he's going to switch out, I can put up another Toxic Spike so that when he comes back in, he does get poisoned. And Delma is all I really need is poison. Uh, I think it's going to be Vest. If it's anything, it's or Yachi. I don't think it can really afford Synthesis. So if it's just regular poison, that's fine. The only thing I really want Toxic is Sylveon. Because Necrozma won't be able to beat me fast enough, I don't think. Because I'll be stalling out Foden Geysers, and I'll be Dragon Dancing up uh, a lot easier on that. Um, Sylveon is the problem, really. Anything else, I just need one set of Toxic Spikes and then go. Um, but anyway, another thing I really uh, thought about was the fact that, man, Darm, if it's Choice Scarfed, or anything really, if it's Choice Scarfed, uh, can stop me from getting up both because it'll outspeed me. So, I'm going to be Sash on Burden, and I'm very specifically going to be Max Special Attack, and then Max Speed Modest. I do not not I do not need... I don't. Uh, I'm actually going to not be Modest, I'm going to be Rash. I don't need uh, to run Timid. Uh, and that's it. I'm not even going to put the 4 anywhere. HP is going to be 0, IVs, Defense, and Spideff. All 0. To maximize the chance that whatever he hits me with, with the Choice Scar, knocks me down to my Sash, pops my Unburden. So that the second turn, I will be faster. At plus two, I always beat every single mod on this team, even if they're scarfed. Very obvious. So yeah, this is going to be the set that hopefully leads me to victory. Let's get to the rest of the team. The rest of the team can go by a little faster because it's mods that I feel like just about have to come. Melmetal. Melmetal has to come. Why? Because Melmetal kicks, clicks buttons and destroys him. I'm not going to be running um, Banded. We're done running the, the meme. We have to run better Melmetal sets when the time calls for it. Um, I'm going to be running Double Iron Bash. Thunder Wave, just in case I feel like I need it. Thunder Punch, because it hits both of his, uh, his main electric or uh, steel switches, being Kelio and Galisopod. He does have a couple other steel resists. Kling Kling does not want to take Devil Iron Bush, neither does Darmanitan. Um, but even if they do, I do have superpower for them. And that is to maximize my damage versus the G-Max Duraludon. If he's not G-Max Lightning, he actually does absolutely no motherfucking damage versus me. Which is good. I uh, didn't know my spread yet. I just wanted these just knew I wanted this coverage. Um, this switches in on the Sylveon, obviously. It can switch in on the Decrossman, depending on its set. Uh, Kelio locked into Air Slash or a Water Move. Maybe if it's Scald, I'm eh, less likely. It can switch on the Delmise almost every single time, guaranteed. Body Press from Max, from, I don't know, maybe it was not Max Defense. From Body Press from Delmise does like 30% without the Chopperberry. Um, so laughable. Uh, it switches in on Bolt Hunt decently well. It switches in on Galisopod, the Kling Clang, the Skun Tank, even with Fire Blast. Duraludon. It's really easy to come in. So, there's that. I'm going to be bringing G-Max Hatterene, obviously. This is, there's a reason, other than just because this is my G-Max, the Dur Dur, bring it and click buttons. Um, I don't need to change that. I also don't need to change that. This is John Jr. This is my boy John Jr. Him so strong. Him strong like Moogie. This is Neo. I'm going to be running the lore ball on this, because this is going to be a lore set, kind of. Uh, it's basically to force in one of his two mods that would be able to check this. I don't think Skun Tank is a check to this mod, 100%. It gets 2 ko by Max Starfall, unless it's like Max Pedefa's all best. Um, Max, uh, Spite. Smite. 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 Um, so this, I'm running Calm Mind. Basically, I'm going to bring this in on something I forced out, Calm Mind on the Switch. He almost, almost certainly goes Necrozma or Sylve, uh, Sylveon. If he's very Spideff, Assault Vest Delmise, he could go into that, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I also ran Healing Wish. I didn't really need too much coverage. All I really need is Death and Gleam. Honestly, it too okay with Darmantan, it too okay with Kling Kling. Uh, most of the time, well, when I'm G Max, it definitely does. Uh, right, work stuff. Um, for the last one, I didn't I didn't know what I wanted immediately. So I kind of left it, and I kind of left everything else there. 
And I thought about it. And I was thinking about it as I built the rest of the team. Uh, from here on out, it's very simple what I'm going to be bringing. I, I, ro I really, 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 really wanted Heliosk. Like, I really wanted Heliosk so bad. Uh, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, Dark Pulse, U-Turn, or Hyper Voice, or Volt Switch or something. Obliteration. Also, it helps check the Keldeo and anything that's not Scarf, because Bolton is not a Pokemon. If I see Bolton in this match, I'm going to be really, really happy, because, again, it's not a Pokemon. It's 100% not a fucking Pokemon in this match. Well, no. It, it does, like, jack all damage to Heliolisk. It has to be, like, Life Orb to kill him with Fire Fang. Um, it does some damage to Heli uh, the Decidueye. It doesn't do a lot to Komo'o, even though it does have the Psychic Fangs. It doesn't do too, too much. Um, so I could set up on that. Maybe not, like, unless he knows I'm bulky i can only set up once but still can set up on that mail metal switches in like ride on it's just so fucking hilarious versus that thing there is not a move that it can go for spoiler alert i'm bringing ride on there is not a move that it can go for that can four hit ko me i'm pretty sure wow actually if it's adamant choice band crunch i think it does four hit ko me it doesn't three hit ko me um completely laughable um so yeah anyway i really wanted to heal i thought about to said why i didn't really like it Ice Q, I, yeah, I'll be honest, like, eh. If it wasn't for Galissapod being so likely to come as a way to check my Melmetal, I probably would be bringing Ice Q, because, um, Sub Belly Drum, Ice Cool Crash, Zen Headbutt, if I can bring this in on something that I almost know for a fact will try and break my Ice Face, uh, I could actually do it. But I won't. So, uh, we're bringing Blastoise. I had to bring Blastoise. Have to. The Salt Fest. I have to bring Blastoise. Why? Because I have to. I had to bring Zen Headbutt for the Keldeo. I have to bring Rapid Spin to get rid of Hazards. I have to bring... Actually, I don't have to bring Rapid Spin, but it's, like, really nice. Um, I have to bring Aura Sphere to do damage to the Duraludon. I could bring... Uh, I could bring Focus Blast, but... Hmm. Uh, unless I'm facing Kyle, my luck isn't that good. And then it's called. Uh, so this spread. <laughs> uh, not that bad, but it, there's, there's a lot of investment. 252, max, max HP, just for the hell of it. 28 Defense. 52 Special Attack. 20 speed, the rest in there. Calm Nature. Didn't really want to run Calm Nature, I wanted to run Mighty Speed, but when I was um, playing the game, I realized uh, a reason why to run that much speed. Um, so yeah. Uh, I have a lot of mods that always take a hit from the Keldeo, and if I get Toxic Spikes up, it's going to be whittled down eventually, uh, anyway. So, I was okay with getting a little bit less damage out on that thing. I still do 30% guaranteed to the Keldeo, unless it's max HP, so that's very nice, uh, weakening that. Obviously taking hits really well. This is also one of my main ways to handle his GMAC loot on because LOL, that thing is a threat. Um, but this spread, I do know what it does for the most part. Um, 52 special attack EVs means that Aura Sphere, 3 hit KOs, a GMAX loot on. So I'm getting as much damage off as possible. But it also means that Aura Sphere into GMAX into Aura Sphere into not GMAX um, kills, right? If it's like uninvested, which I expect it to be pretty uninvested. Um, and the reason I say that is because I can bring this in at Aura Sphere and then Rapid Spin to get the speed boost, and then Aura Sphere outside of, um, outside of G-Max and then kill it. Uh, so the reason I mention, uh, get the speed boost and outspeed it, that's why I have 20 EVs in speed. 20 EVs in speed means that at plus one, I outspeed a max speed, Timid Duraludon, which is very important. Uh, the defense is theirs to take hits from Keldeo as well as something else. Uh, I don't get too KO'd by Darmanitan, Earthquake, I believe, uh, just various things across, but it's mainly there for Darmanitan and Keldeo, because this is also a Keldeo check, and a Darmanitan check, and I wanted to take the pressure of it, so I ran Rhydon, right, Rhydon is there for the Darmanitan, it can help me versus a physical Necrozma, it can help me versus just a, 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 a wide variety of things, including, of course, the Bolton. Um, Bolton is an LOL Mon versus... Um, uh, right on. So, uh, level 50, male, and this is Maj. My boy Maj! This is going to be Eviolite. I don't know what ability I picked, because they're all useless. Um, obviously this is going to be my rocker. I don't have a rocker at this point. Uh, and I'm going to be running Earthquake. Those are two moves I knew. I didn't know anything else. All I knew is I was breaking it. So, you know, this is what the team's looking at, right? I'm looking, missing a lot of EV spreads and stuff. But I, I generally have an idea of what I'm going to be going with. So, um, talk about Mel Metal. Mel Metal is the first one I made. 
Uh, Mel Metal is here to help me with the Duraludon, the Skuntang, the Kling Clang, just a wide variety. I'm going to be as bulky as I feel like I need, but still trying to make sure that I get the damage output that I want on various mons. So, the speed, uh, the, the speed, the, the set ended up being 212 in HP with 44 in defense, and I can't remember what this does. I needed max HP and, like, 4 defense, and then I just moved it around to maximize, you know, EVs and stuff. This is to allow me to take plus one life orb secret sword i think from full and with some spadef 36 uh in spadef i also take a uh life or or a plus one life or surf i think from the caldeo so this helps me with the caldeo like caldeo is not just gonna be able to come in and get a free kill versus me obviously if it's just specs or something i'm gonna be taking it a lot better and i can just click thunder punch and knock it out because lol <laughs> Uh, actually, I don't think I knock it out with 92 investment and an adamant nature, but I do a whole lot of damage to the point where anything else can knock it out. Because, um, Keldeo only knocks out, um, uh, unless it's Specs Focus Blast, uh, Keldeo only knocks out two Pokemon on my team. Uh, Specs Focus Blast does not knock me out because of Shop Bear. It only Okos two mods. It Okos the SL Gore, which it's supposed to, supposed to bring it down to Sash, and then obviously the Rhydon. Everything else takes a hit from it, guaranteed. Even the Kamo. Which you'll see. And then I had a whole bunch of speed. This is to try and get one over on the um, Sylveon. I outspeed it by a lot. Just really trying to get over it. So yeah. That's going to be my mail metal spread. It helps me check just a wide variety of things. I also take um, a max darkness into a max lightning. Uh, I take a max dragon into a max lightning. I take whatever into a max lightning except for a second max lightning. So very, very nice here. Uh, and I mentioned Max Darkness. That's something he's been running a lot, and I get why. It's to lower the spadef of a Pokemon on the switch in, and then kill it on the next one. And you know what? That's actually a really good idea. Max Darkness. I stop Kel Necrozma from Calm Minding up on me with Max Darkness, at least for three turns. And you know what? That's all I need. Uh, three turns? It's obviously not going to be taking three Max Darknesses, especially if I Calm Mind up first. Which is very nice. Uh, so, clicking Max Darkness is very rarely a bad idea. We'll get the Spadef drop, and then, of course, that gleam is Max Smite is just going to murder, 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 murder. Nothing knows Parting Shot, by the way. Boom. Uh, so, I figured that out as I was calculating stuff with Mel Metal, but I still didn't know the spread. This was the last spread I did. Uh, I know I did Komo. This is Max HP. Or near Max HP. Obviously, I'm going to be like subbing and leftovering and draining and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be very bulky. Uh, very, not a crazy set, honestly. Uh, so, this maximizes the amount of defense I can get while also making sure that my plus 6 Drain Punch, should I get up that high? 2 KOs the Sylveon, and 2 KOs maybe the, no, I don't, I don't think it 2 KOs the Necrozma. 2 KOs a max defense Sylveon, and 3 KOs always a max defense uh, Necrozma. Calcs, you know, as you go down. I have a better chance of, you know, still doing stuff. I believe plus 5 is what I need to 3 KO the Necrozma for max defense. If it's just max HP, I have 2 KO with Drain Punch at plus 6. But anyway, the speed is so that at plus 2, I outspeed a, car, uh, a Scarf Darmanitan. In my mock, I ended up Dragon Dancing a second time on the Keldeo, uh, thinking that I outspeed it because I knew it was Scarf. And I did it, and I got Air Slash. I don't think Scarf Keldeo actually really comes, and if it does, I think I can handle it a lot better than I did in the mock. Um, but I don't outspeed Scarf Keldeo at plus 2, which is bad. But at plus one, I do outspeed every single mod on his team outside of the Boltund. LOL, not a Pokemon. Um, do I outspeed the Boltund, actually? I might. I don't know. Um, Boltund! Level 50! I don't. But I outspeed how fast he would be. Because he's not going to be running, you know, max speed. Anyway, uh, this mod completely destroys him. I feel bad for Opal, because I've been just, like, sitting here. Um, poor Opal. Anyway, um, that's my Komo'o. Two more mons. I went back to this. And I really thought about this for a while. I had Toxic, Sword Stand, Stone Age, Rock Blast, all kinds of moves. I ended up with two very interesting moves. I went with Roar. Very obvious. I mean, I'm facing the cross. I want to roar it out, as well as a Calm Mind Sylveon. I could roar out a... Um, I don't know if you can roar out a, uh, a G-Max, but, I mean, I'd be clicking Earthquake versus it anyway, or switching out. Um, roar out just various mods. If he's Air Balloon, like, Cling Cling or whatever, I can roar that out, um, etc. 
And that one was a very interesting move. As I mentioned, what are the chances that uh, I may not actually get up T-Spikes? Well, it, it could happen, especially if it brings Delmize. But Delmize is heavily pressured, so I might get rid of that. Outside of the Delmize, one of his next switches to the Rhydon could very well be the Sylveon. Max Defense Sylveon actually takes on Rhydon very, very well. And Hyper Voice is going to be doing a lot of damage. And I really thought about that and I said, what if I could use this to pressure the Sylveon? So I'm running Heavy Slam. And with four attack EVs, only four, after Leftovers, I 2 AKO a Max Defense Sylveon with Heavy Slam, which is very, very nice. And that can come in a, that can come in very handy. It also gives me an accurate move to hit the Kling Clang in case it's Air Balloon. And I can hit it beforehand. Although he'll probably be running Magnemite, Magnet Rise. So if I see Kling Clang come in on my Rhydon, I'm going to get the hell out of there. It's going to be Magnet Rise. I'm going to go into Mel Metal and I'm going to click a button and knock it out. Uh, but anyway, so this spread ended up being max HP. Obviously, 76 defense with an Impish, Napor, Impish Nature. Uh, 148 Spadef. And then some speed, again, trying to get over stuff like the Sylveon and stuff. Uh, not the Sylveon, um, Galissapod, in this case. Trying to get over the Galissapod, which is what I believe I'm trying to get over here, is Galissapod and such. Stuff like Galissapod, stuff like Delmise, anything that's Thunder Waved, obviously, or most things that are Thunder Waved. Uh, but yeah, trying to get over that. This spread means that I don't get 4 hit KO'd by Bolton's Life or, or Modest Specs Snarl, which is his best move against me. LOL. I take hits all day from the Skun Tank. I can take a gear grind from the Kling Clang if I don't believe it's Magnet Rise or Air Bloom or whatever. I mean, obviously, I can EQ that and knock it out. Uh, I don't do anything to Glissapod. I don't think he will immediately think that, so he'll probably be a little bit hesitant to go straight out to Glissapod on my ride on. Stone Edge is obviously going to do a whole bunch of damage. I also take hits very well from the Darmanitan, from a physical Necrozma, from... I believe, I don't think, an Uninvested Sylveon's Moonblast to, to, uh, to take care of me. Of course, it's a lot weaker than something like the uh, Hyper Voice. So, that's very nice. Yeah, just here to generally soak up hits. Uh, I also believe I take... Uh, maybe I don't. I don't think I take Max Steel. I take Max Fighting. Because, um, like, body press and stuff. But anyway, with all that, there's only one more um, thing that I had to do. And that was to finally go back and get Hatterene. Because I've been doing a lot of calcs at the end. I've had the structure very well built out from the beginning, and just went back and just filled in the pieces. And that's kind of how I built the team. And on this one, I ran uh, almost max HP. 212. I could have run 220, but, you know, I want that that nice odd number. 4-4. Four and four. And then I ran 124 speed. As I've been saying, this is to get over something like the, um, his, his 40s, like his Delmise, like his Galissapod. And the rest in max and special attack with a modest nature. This, the HP was just what's left over. I've already explained the speed. The special attack is there so that um, I always 2 8 KO the Necrozma if it's max HP with ma uh, max darkness. At plus one, I just motor through his entire team. Plus one, uh, max darkness knocks out Darmantan. I don't need max plus one to knock out Keldeo with uh, max smite. I believe I need rocks, just a little bit of champ damage on the Sylveon so that plus one max smite knocks that out. Uh, but even so, that's taking damage. And if he goes into Sylveon hard as I go for Calm Mind with my G -Mag, my, my Hatterene, obviously before G Max, I'm going to click Calm Mind again. What is that thing going to do to me? Um, don't mind that 2 KO. If it's not best, Ioko with Max Darkness. Rhyperior 2 KO. Bolt on Ioko. Uh, Glissopod depends on the spread. If it's not very spadef, then Ioko it with Max Smite after Rocks. Uh, Clink Clang, I 2 KO with Max Darkness. Skun Tank, I'm 2 KO with Max Smite. Unless it's Max Spadef, Max HP, Assault Vest. And then Dural Lurdon, I can 2 KO, and I always take a hit from that thing. Max Steel Spike, no matter which side it's coming from, uh, I always take with this uh, spread. So, very nice here. I think I have very good checks to just about everything he could bring. When I'm Dynamax, I check Keldeo with this thing, which is very nice. This can check Keldeo a little bit if it's weakened. Uh, obviously, this is here to do its thing. Overall, I very well think that this is the team that can do it. I do think... Wow, I hope none of that's important. Uh, and I can click on APA. Yeah. None of that's important because this is like way ahead. Um, you guys aren't seeing this until next week. I'm nowhere. I'm not that far ahead on building. I'm not ahead at all. I definitely think this is a team that can do it. So let me know what you guys think of the team. Let me know what you guys think of these builders, of course. Uh, I really hope that this is where I turn it around. Obviously, I might have been I might have turned it around last week. But again, I don't know that yet. Uh, I really like this team. I really like how I built, and I really think that this is going to be the team to win. So, uh, Ogle's waiting on me, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think, and of course...
I'll see you tomorrow for the battle. Be sure to go check out that. If this is going up uh, on time, that should also mean that uh, I put up, uh, probably before this, I put up my NCP Wi-Fi game, so be sure to go check that out. It's going to be my week three game versus Zombie, which I've definitely played by the time you've seen this. Uh, as of currently, I have not played him. I believe I played him tomorrow. Fuck, I play a lot of people tomorrow. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.